Falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool Welcome back. And we're back in the car, of course. I feel like I do my best vlogging in the car and I can chat with you guys, but uh, it is Saturday morning. My friend texted me this morning asking if I want to go to Target. So that is where I'm off to, just to see her. I haven't seen her in like a few weeks, so it's been pretty long. So we're just gonna go walk around Target, I guess, enjoy our morning. Matt's working, of course, so nothing really to do with him. And then we are going to be working on the nursery again at some point today. Hopefully getting a portion of it done. Then we're going to have to go buy some more materials. So, it snowed. We have a beautiful little winter wonderland outside. And I'm actually loving it. We got snow, I think, earlier this week too. Was it Tuesday maybe? And it snowed for a while and there was actually a decent amount of snow and then it melted in like 10 minutes after it stopped snowing. It was really crazy. But the snow is sticking at least to like the grass and everything, the trees, it looks pretty and it's not sticking to the road. So like that's my favorite type of snow when um, I can still drive and get, get around. I just got here and I'm trying to get my key fob open because last time Matt did it and um, we didn't like get the right number that we needed so we never got the new battery and my car tells me every single time that my my battery is low and I know one of these days I'm gonna get my car and my battery just is gonna be dead and won't turn my car on and that will be awful so I don't know how to do this though. <clears throat> Oh, but while I'm here, I want to get a battery. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm getting it. I got it. Okay, I'm off. Okay, we are getting a lot of stuff that we probably don't need. Found some baby clothes, a bunch of stuff that we are getting. I thought I was gonna vlog a lot more in there than I did, so I apologize. But we just had some little friend time and talked and got our, whoa, Starbucks. I just got a black tea lemonade sweetened. And I didn't want like a coffee because I'm gonna be going to dinner tonight. We're celebrating Valentine's Day tonight. We're doing bonefish. But I knew I'm gonna like be drinking soda tonight, so I don't want too much caffeine and tea does really doesn't have that much caffeine in it, so I think I'll be good. And that's that. We had a nice little time, so I'm happy I came, talked to her. Uh, it's noon now. My dad's gonna be coming over soon to help with the beadboard, so I'm excited to get working on that again. It's already noon. I cannot believe the day is gonna be gone before I even know it. We have to get more wood. We have to go to Home Depot and Lowe's. So we're grabbing a little late lunch. Okay, we're at our last stop. We need to get one more board and then get it cut in half. So we have two more pieces and that will be the last of our supplies we need for right now at least. It has been a long day. Dad and I just got back with the wood and everything that we picked up from Lowe's. And we got everything we needed besides the chair rail. The chair rail, I think I wanna get at Home Depot because we have a gift card for Home Depot, so I'd like to use that if possible. 
And the Home Depot we went to today didn't have it in stock, but the one close to us the other way said that it's in stock. So hopefully we can find that before just having to get it at Lowe's, but we did see it at Lowe's just in case. So um, I never went over when I got it at Target earlier. So I'm gonna go over my little goodies that I picked up. This spackle, which it literally feels empty. Like I can't even explain how light this is. Um, I picked up another spackle in at, uh, Home Depot as well. So we have a lot, but this literally feels like air in here. Um, I got myself a box of tissues. My nose has been like crazy, so need tissues. Got myself some Mucinex. Apparently I'm allowed to have this. I'm not gonna have a lot. I'll probably have one. My doctor said it's good, so I guess we'll be good with that. I got this set of fill body wash for cooling relief hopefully that works well for me i don't necessarily have dry skin but i want like a hydrating body wash um and then i got this little bar of soap which is the sa cleanser bar for rough and bumpy skin i got this for my back specifically because my body's been breaking out like my body more so is breaking out from being pregnant i also got these exfoliating gloves I don't know, man. I don't know. Got a pack of gum, necessities, and then I picked up this, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Hopefully this adds some, like, life to my skin because my skin has just been so dull and, like, kind of gross lately that hopefully this adds just a little something, something. And then I also picked up a e.l.f. Monochromatic, monochromatic Multi Stick, which I actually have the other one that's, like, the Glimmering Guava. And I really like that color, um, but I wanted to try this one, and it is called Dazzling Peony. Um, this one's a little bit darker, I think, and looks like that. So, that's that. And then I picked up two little baby items. I thought this was so cute for the summer. It's like, oh my god, so cute little set. This was, I think, $12. I think it was on sale for $12, originally $15. And then I picked up this little sleeping set too, six to nine months, and really cute, um, really, really, really soft. And this can be cute for like St. Patrick's Day, so adorable. So, oh, I love it. Um, that's everything I picked up at the store. And, oh, I actually also got the battery. I need it for my car fob. So, I'm actually going to do that right now before I forget because I know I'm going to run into a problem one of these days where my car just doesn't start because the battery is dead and that would be completely my bad. So, I'm going to go put this in and then it's like already 4.30. We have dinner reservations at Bonefish for 7, I think. Let me check my calendar. I write everything down on the calendar. Yeah, 7 p.m. I am going to shower up and relax for the next hour or so. Um... And then get ready for dinner. Okay, key fob is fixed. I'm gonna throw the old battery out. These are in danger, so let me get rid of this. Okay, here's my little Valentine celebration outfit. Little sweater from Shein. I actually wore this a few days ago just for some pictures. If you saw like the 20 week pictures we took on Instagram, I was wearing this sweater and also this dress from Shein. And definitely can see the baby bump. It's so funny. Like, when I look at myself, I still don't look, like, feel pregnant. Especially, like, in the mirror. Like, I just don't feel like I look pregnant yet. But then whenever I, like, watch these clips back when I'm editing a video, I'm like, holy moly, I look massive. So, that's probably how I'll feel watching this back. That holy moly, I look massive. But I put my samas on with this. This dress kind of makes it hard to put shoes on. I sit down. Um, but I actually um, straightened my hair. I showered and then blue dry my hair, and I didn't really have time to curl it. So straighten the hair. I used the new makeup I bought today, and I really, really like it. I feel like it adds like a nice glow and like life to the skin that I have not had in a long time. Usually in like the summer, my skin looks better <laughs> than this. Like. It just more glow naturally, but I am really liking the makeup. So tomorrow when I do my makeup, I will show you guys 
everything and how I use it and all that stuff. So, because I like the new products I bought and then I just kind of layered it under my foundation and everything I use normally. The e.l.f. like, e.l.f. stuff is not really a foundation. It's more of like a glow under the, under the whatever you already do type of thing. So, can you feed him, Matt? If you'd be so kind. I'd be so kind. Okay, so here's the outfit. Samba's cute. His dresses are so hard to walk in. Oh my god, that made a mess. I heard it. I missed his bowl. Um, I wish there was more lights in this room because I just bought this mirror. And it's such a dark room and it's a little dirty right now. But this is what we got going on. We're off to dinner. Matt's driving. I always which... leave this way. I go out. I do too. I go out here and then I come in the other way. I don't go in the other way. I always use this road. Unless, for some reason, there's like a specific reason I want to go to that side, but usually not. I always pull in on that side because then I pull my car in. It's so sun. dark in this car. Oh, there you go, a little brighter. Matt, I drove by this new house being built today. The one over there? Yeah, I haven't seen it since it was like just foundation. You haven't? We've walked over there. No, we, I haven't walked over there in months. Since the. the it's gender massive. Reveal? You haven't walked over no, there? No, I have not. It's massive. Yeah, that no, thing is I massive. See it every day. <laughs> it's like four houses I told in you one. That. It was massive. I, it's I told, crazy. I know. I wonder who's gonna move in. Probably I know. Great Gatsby. So excited for Bonefish. We haven't been. I think we went on a Valentine's Day like three years ago. Or what was that holiday? Valentine's? Probably. We Probably. went so long ago. Um, but we've never been to this one here in Jersey together. This one's better vibes than the other one that we went to. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one better. Um but I'm excited. The Bang Bang Shrimp. We've only been to so that good. one, right? That was the only one I've been to. Ever in your life? I mean, I've been to that one multiple times. But yeah. I don't even... You know how to get there? Yeah. I'm not even sure why I've been there. So I know why. I don't love bonefish. Mm, it's my favorite. Well, not my favorite, but I love the shrimp. Yeah, so I like I'm excited. the shrimp too, but I never get it. I always like eat someone else's. I'm so excited for bread and... Oh, okay, we're off and I'll see you guys when we get there. Just got home. I got my baby. My friend, can you the baby? Not long. Oh, he's a baby, but not for too much longer, Frank. Got a real baby coming. We got a real baby coming. To come to me. But we just got home. Dinner was really good. I did you let him out? I'm looking massive. I have not let him out yet. Massive. Oh so bloated. Oh got the bang bang shrimp. We split the mac and cheese, the bacon mac and cheese. So yummy. And Matt got um, fish and chips. So really yummy dinner. It's now 8:18. So we actually were only there for like an hour. It was like I feel like kind of fast. But now I think we're gonna watch something and then go to bed. It's Kind of, I'm just exhausted. So I think we're gonna watch a movie. I think Matt wants to watch Mystic River. I've never heard of it, but it's an old movie. It's on Netflix, and Matt wants to watch it. So that's our plan. I'm gonna go change into jams and enjoy the rest of the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Monday. I took the day off yesterday kind of because I wasn't really feeling 100% but we got a lot of work done in the nursery and feeling pretty accomplished. Changes the lighting at all. I'm pale as anything. Holy moly. But today is our 20 week anatomy scan which I am so excited for. We have to leave in like 15 minutes and I have to drink 24 ounces of water before. Um, 
and not pee and I like can't do it. I'm struggling so hard. They said not to pee for an hour before. So like I peed right before that I was like not allowed to pee. And then like three minutes into the hour, I was like, I need to pee again. So I, I peed and now it's just like, whatever. If it's three minutes off, it's whatever. But I wanted to show you guys the makeup I bought. I told you I was gonna do that yesterday and then I didn't really vlog yesterday. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I got this in the color three, light medium. And this is a lot darker than my skin right now, but it is not honestly much of like a color. Like it's more for the glow. It really shears out when you start blending it in. So I'm gonna do that um, and blend that in with a beauty blender. I am so excited for this appointment. We've been waiting for so long. I am 21 weeks and five days today. A decent amount past 20 weeks and i really wish we were able to do it on 20 weeks because that would have been valentine's day and that would have been such a fun little valentine's day thing to do but oh well didn't work out that way and now we get to go today so just blending this out i've really been actually liking this because my skin is just so dull lately especially in the winter like without color i really should just start self tanning and that would maybe sol solve my problems but i'm not really a huge self tanner so i never do it my camera ran out of space so next i'm just gonna throw some concealer on uh all my blemishes under my eyes i've been feeling a little under the weather and i'm wondering if it's my allergies starting this early I'm kind of praying it is that, I'm not just sick. I started taking my allergy medicine again last night and praying that helps. My like, eyes are so watery. My nose is just like, ugh, some bronzer. I'm also gonna ask the doctor tonight about our like baby moon. I wanna make sure that we are good to travel the week that we are like thinking we wanna go, which I'll be 30 weeks. I definitely shouldn't have a problem then um, cause it's still pretty early. Um, but I'm definitely just gonna run it past them before I book anything. I really wanna book our trip this week because we're getting kind of close, I feel like. And I'm ready to book it. So that's that. I'm also gonna ask about possibly going out of the country. I know we're like planning on not as of right now, but I'll ask and see. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is the blush. And this is the e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick in the color dazzling peony i have the other one in whoa in guava glimmering guava so i'm um, excited to try out this one and i actually put these on with a brush rather than just going straight in to the face um i just feel like i have more control that way and yeah so just kind of like that I love the lush but when I go upstairs I'll show you how far we got on the bedroom because we are really getting there we're like one more work day away from being able to start painting which is really excited it's exciting and I still have to pick out a paint color I'm leaning towards like a beigey sage color like a little green tint in there but mostly a beigey color and then the crib I wanted is out of stock right now it says it'll be back march 19th so i'm gonna have to wait until then and see if it comes back if it doesn't we're gonna have to move on <laughs> and buy something else so hopefully it comes back i think i'm gonna go with the dark wood let me know what you guys think about that um but i think that will be like perfect for the vibe that i'm going for so i'm gonna finish getting ready now and i will see you guys in a little bit uh, makeup is done everything looks really glowy and natural like it still looks like my own skin but just like glowier and a little bit more coverage look a little bit more put together um oh i'm trying to get up so that is that i'm gonna go put my makeup back upstairs i'll show you the baby's room we gotta leave in like five minutes so okay so here is how far we've come we have finished all the beadboard the whole room so this was the last piece two pieces we did so those are all done 
all done over here. And here's some like paint colors we're kind of thinking of. I'm thinking maybe that one, because that's a little greeny. This one's called Pale Pine from Bear. And it was just because we were at Home Depot, so I grabbed that one. But then we did the chair rail all from here. We finished it all until the door. So, oh my gosh, I need to catch my breath. I'm really excited. I think we just have one more day to finish this here, here, and then all up in here, which should not take all that long. We have the outer piece here. We have a few inner pieces. But the, besides that, we're looking pretty good. And the chair rail goes up really fast. So shouldn't be too much more work. And we actually found this chair rail at Lowe's. Home Depot didn't have them, but if you guys do the beadboard and you like don't have them perfectly line up at the top, this chair rail actually has like a little lip that allows you to like kind of have a little bit of mistake. So it goes over the top of the um, beadboard and it gives you just a little bit of leeway if you made any boo-boos. So that is really fun and happy we found that because it really made it look seamless because like a few of the boards are a few centimeters different in height so i think it looks really good so far and that's all our scrap so like honestly not that much but i'm really happy with the way it came out i can't wait mom started like caulking everything for me she's gonna be my my caulker my spackler and my painter um because she's better at it so she's gonna go through and do all the cracks all the everything that needs to be done but i think it looks so good so far i'm so happy with how it's turning out i'm in the car waiting for matt because that boy is just taking so long so i came out to the car to wait for him i understand like it's his busy season he is really swamped right now with work but it is time to go i'm happy he's able to come with me at all considering he literally works all day every day and never has a break so this is a very important scan obviously and it's very in-depth and detailed and we're gonna be in there for a long time so it's gonna be really fun to like or nice to do that with him I mean I would be really sad if he didn't come so I'm happy he is able to take the time out of the day and come but he is making us late they said to be there 15 minutes early and that's like in a few minutes so he has to scooch his touche. Honk. We need to hurry our butts up. Literally can't wait. I've been waiting for the scan for so long. And I've gotten to the point where I definitely feel kicked. So I'm not like nervous in that sense anymore. Um, because I'm definitely feeling movement. But it is a scary thing. Like we're going to find out a lot of measurements and everything today. So hopefully baby looks good. And Matt finally is coming. So. Let's get to the doctors. Okay, we just got out. We got our pictures of our little baby. We got two little things. Yeah, we got two little prints. And they're all like the same. It's just like the, it's just all the profile. I wish they gave us some of the, like the other prints because now, they're not gonna, I wouldn't put them up back there, man. I'd hold them. I don't wanna hold on to them all day. Well, I wish they gave us some like other prints that were. We'll go find this here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Oh, Jesus. I wish they gave us like the legs and the heart or like other things rather than just the profile. I don't know. Why didn't they do that? She was more worried about, well, trying to get measurements of the head. But yeah. then the baby's. The, hand was up against the baby the, was not cooperating. I had to keep turning and flipping and getting up and trying to like move him around. He was like kicking and stuff, but his yeah. head was not moving though. It was Just, not going into the position she wanted him. Yeah, but pretty cool. I wish it was easier for us to like know what they were showing us. I feel like the whole time I was like, so what's this? Like what's what are you looking at? Like I don't know what I'm looking at right she now. She did say Besides, though, like, the like profile, sometimes she's quiet, but that's just yeah, because she's focusing. And we've had her once before, yeah. and I noticed. And that's the same fine. Thing. Like that's not a problem being quiet. And, like she was doing more it. talkative today than the yeah. last time. Last time was a lot shorter, but she was yeah. also like really quiet. And then like just measuring things, and we're like, 
Yep. Is that a good thing? I know. She was like, well, she can't say anything, later. like, good or bad, yeah. Well, she, she definitely made it seem like yeah. nothing was wrong today. Yeah. Um, I just wish we got more prints, and I don't know. It's fine, though. I also got the A-OK -okay for the baby moon. She said we can go wherever we want it. Uh, just not after 34 weeks, she wouldn't recommend. She said that baby is in the 46th percentile, so like exactly pretty much normal, median. They said anywhere. Like regular. They said it's. Anywhere they're between not 10 and if, 90, they're yeah, not worried. Yeah, 10 and 90. Which is a really crazy. big range. Um, said so they would rather it be around. Right like, in the middle. Yeah, so yeah. that it's like easier to yeah. get birth and not have a huge so baby. But. I think she said 14 ounces is what the baby was weighing right now. Everything looked good. Everything looked normal. Um, yeah. It was a cool appointment. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was fun. And that was about it. Nothing too crazy, thankfully. No no news, like, is, like, good Every news. Every time you know? they... Like, anytime someone... No updates is good Talks about, <laughs> good like, news. a baby being in the certain percentile, I always, like, have to think about it for a second. I'm like, 47? That's a... That's an F. <laughs> that's terrible. But it's exactly like, nope, normal. It's exactly normal. Like, yeah. if you had, like, a 90th percentile baby, it'd be massive. But, yeah, measuring good right now. What else did they say? Anything else important? Not really, right? Yeah, everything looked good. So, we'll call our parents now. Let them know. Oh, my next appointment. That's what I want to say. Next appointment's in four weeks from today, and it's the glucose test. So she said you don't have to change your diet. But I'm gonna change my she diet. She said I probably wouldn't be eating <laughs> pancakes in the morning. Though. I won't be eating like sugary stuff for probably like a few days before. Actually, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a Monday, so that kind of is annoying. Because then I have to eat healthy on the weekend. You never eat that healthy anyway, so what are you so worried about? That's that. I'm gonna give our parents a little call, let them know what went down, and then we're going to Chick fil A right now. It's like become the tradition after our appointments we go get food together. Chick fil A. Yep. Particularly. Well, Chick fil A, we did Chipotle ones, we did La Scala's ones. Just food. We've done Chick fil A like every time, yeah, except for we did La Scala's once and. And choo choo. Just got home, turn the light on, and <coughs> gonna show up dinner. We got ice cream, treat ourselves to something fun, and now it's pretty much time just to relax and chill out for the night. It's 6:30. Matt's gonna go back upstairs and work more. Okay. I'm gonna shower and then like chill out. Um, but yeah, four more weeks and then. Gonna go for my gestational diabetes test. I wanna know, if you guys have been pregnant, how many weeks did you take your gestational diabetes test? Because I thought it was normal to do it like 28 weeks. So I'll be 24 weeks when I'm getting mine done. And it just strikes me as kind of early because I've always heard 28 weeks is when you do that. But who knows? <coughs> I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Know. But And also, if like you change your diet much before, she told me not to do that. She just said like the morning of not to eat anything sugary. Um, she said you don't want to trick the system. Yeah. So, I kind of do want to trick the system though because I don't want to have gestational diabetes. Then are you going to be healthy the rest of the pregnancy? No. I definitely don't eat healthy. eat a lot of sugar. And I can imagine myself having gestational diabetes, but also at the same time, I don't really know what goes into that. Like, I don't know what it makes you have it. Is it just like your eating habits strictly or I have no idea. But we're home now, gonna relax for the night and get in bed early. I'm so tired. I washed the sheets, so I gotta redry them. And that's about it. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Did you remake that? I have to re-dry them, babe. I don't think they're dried yet. Um, I have to re the bed. Yeah, I know. They're the, I said I have to re-dry them. How would they make the bed if they're still in the dry? We have a lot of pairs of sheets. Oh, I'm just I doing the same ones. I'm just putting the same ones on. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? But I'm going to end the vlog here, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, stick around. 
for all the fun, baby content, nursery updates, all the things happening. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.